I am finally done with season three of Coach Lyoko. Yeah. I basically summed it up in a previous video. You know, the females aren't really all that. Ori got the biggest development battle-wise. Um, everyone's still, well, Ori and Yumi gets toxic. Oz, Odd. Jeremy, I still don't even know why he was actually ever needed. But, as I was watching season three, one more, my bad, backtrack, backtrack, backtrack. Jeremy is needed with the computer and stuff. It's just season one didn't really make it seem like he was really all that needed for the time travel. That's a correction on my part. Um, but another thing is, is like, I hold strong to the whole Alita is suspect is I don't know what, because in the flashback, that they showed on the last two episodes of season three of how everyone first met and everything. It's just kind of like, yo, what the heck happened? Yumi is a better fighter in her flashback than she is now because Jubilee is a word I heard in the social vine, the social great vine. She's been down bad. Like. Crows. Vines. And all other. You know stuff. Got fell on by a tree. A tree fell on her. And got her stuck in a blizzard. Things just not been going away. Oric. Oric's still the same really. Jeremy. Jeremy. Didn't even really seem to know that much about programming. But then again, season one takes place a year after they met. So, truly, I guess that's that makes sense. Things can change. Yumi could have gotten bad, which means she probably started focusing more on her studies and haven't really been trained much. Because in one of the things, it showed Ulrich pretty much in the gym by himself and would occasionally train with Yumi. So, Yumi isn't training as much. But Oric kept his, kept up with his training. So, yeah, and this is after a year time span. So, I guess it makes sense. It all makes sense. It all comes together. It all comes together. But this is what definitely makes Alita suspect. Xana is a whole lot weaker a year ago because we all found out that time traveling actually boosts the supercomputer's power, which enables Xana to get stronger, right? So... When they first met each other a year ago, Xano was technically weak. And he activates a tower. She's chilling in her own tower that's in a whole other sector, right? Just chilling. And she's able to hear these pulsations from a whole other sector. The winter sector while she's in like this wood sector and she heard it very clearly but yet as you watch season one it's like no matter how many times Zena activated a tower she couldn't tell for nothing what was going on and then sissy Sissy is just what else. I'm glad. Like, Sissy was literally dead close to becoming a Lyoko warrior. I'm glad she is not. Because I know I say Yumi and Alita really are trash, like, battle-wise and stuff. But if if you if Sissy was in there, I feel like she would be the character to make them look like, like, yo, there's literally nothing wrong with Yumi and Alita. Even if Yumi pretty much gets knocked out most of the time. And Alita can't fight the Scipio for shit. Like, straight up just getting caught up, like, every time. Or pretty much was basically defenseless up until season three. And even then, still can't really do much. But she's starting to hold her own, though. Because she's the key, so I pretty much feel like 
you know, she kind of got to get more bodies than Yumi. So she got to make it to the tower. So they're pretty much giving her more screen time. To, so it's just like, yo, you're going to be knocking out these characters. But damn, Code Lyoko. Why the heck y'all using like the same scenes like over and over again? Y'all just changed a little stuff. But for the most part, all the stuff is just pretty much playing. And then you got William. William Dunbar, if I remember the name correctly. William Dunbar. Seeing like a dope dude. Like, he get anger issues, but, like, he pretty much just listens to you. You know, he's straight. He listens to directions and all that stuff. Uh, all that good stuff. Boy hops into the cold Lyoko world. Don't listen for shit. Not a dang thing. And truthfully, I'm not sorry what happened to this dude. And I don't feel no types of way. It wasn't even my favorite character anyways. Favorite character is Auric. It is what it is. Dude started leveling up, like, majorly. I didn't even know you can level up in Code Lyoko like that, but that dude showed that you could. Dude had a whole solo moment on one episode, was covering a whole tower and everything, just kept it to himself, just kept it moving. Just, he did what they normally do with three people by himself. He leveling up. He moving up in the world somewhere in Lyoko. He getting paid the big bucks. He moving on to a better life. About to have a family with the big house and three kids. All that good stuff. William, on the other hand, his behind is just gone. We don't really need him. We don't know where he went, and that's okay. He's that high school friend that pretty much just disappeared. You know, he's, he good. He's straight. He'll be fine. He'll, he'll come back out of this stronger and better than ever. Or at least that's what we, that's what we say to ourselves. Yep. We don't need no William. We do not. And I'm about to start on this season four. See how that finna go. Bars. I'm out.